jungle. We call this the no hezzy method. <laughs> Happy Monday, y'all. Getting the plunge in. I wanted to be in a very vulnerable position because I wanted to sit down and tell you I think I'm gonna switch things up on this vlog. You know, in the past, I've kind of vlogged about training. I've vlogged about wellness and then my, my just personal life. But one thing that I wanted to do a little bit differently this week is that this episode, Strictly Grind. It's gonna be only centered on training, running, lifting, and then things, things I'm doing specifically for my training goals. I have something in mind on what I wanna pursue next, but I haven't quite ironed out the details also, if you can't tell, the plunge really, the plunge really makes me talk weird. And it's a, and it's like 6 a.m. So I've got morning voice. It's definitely a thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, this vlog strictly training grind. Now, this is just a big maybe. I think I'm gonna split it up. So I'm gonna post training grind vlogs on Tuesdays. So just things centered around my fitness and things I'm doing to reach my goals in the fitness and competitive category. And then on Thursdays, separate vlog. What? Are we leveling up? Perhaps. I don't know. But Thursdays will be like a separate vlog that's strictly around like my lifestyle, wellness, maybe family, things like that. That way, when you go into a vlog, you know what you're expecting. So this vlog, strictly fitness, grind, and training. So, welcome y'all. I'm glad you're here. Let's have a good week. Let's get it. I just wanna say that one of my favorite lifts. So before we get into this, sorry for the cerebellum shot. It looks like I zoomed in way too close on my face. So sorry about that. And back to the video. Right now is the dumbbell chest press. Um, it doesn't really do anything for my running, I will say. But there's nothing like getting a little bit of a pump. You know what I mean? Um, how's my form? I really don't know. So if someone could tell me, that would be great. One thing that I struggle with about doing at-home workouts is that it gets quite repetitive. I mean, I switch it up and I have my friend ChatGPT help me with the workouts, but I find myself doing the same movements like every week with like some variation here and there. I mean, there's not much you can do when you don't have a full on grind cave. It's just a grind wall, I guess you could say. But, whew, I've been loving strength training though. I really do like just doing functional movements to help me build up like my strength everywhere. I just wanna, ooh, I just want to someday be able to be a dad that doesn't struggle with like carrying his kids or like I don't know, doing basic functions that could have been like helped with some strike training. I also don't want to get hurt. And if you're strong, physically strong, you're less likely to slip up and get hurt. So I'm just very focused right now on building up strength, endurance, and recovery so that my body is just a tip top temple. Trademark that. <coughs> Trademark that. <laughs> but yeah, just easy miles, easy gains, easy recovery. And that's it. You know? I'm sweating, sweating balls, man. They say the sauna is good for the soul. I feel incredible, really hot right now. Um, but I mean, it feels good to sweat it out. I just feel like after I get out of the sauna, I'm gonna feel like two pounds lighter and 40 pounds more of Zen. So I'm feeling it. I told you we're on the, we're on the road. We're, we're just strength training, easy miles and recovery central here at Joey John's. So these are the vibes right now. Whoa, 
We're crushing a five mile jaunt with Joseph Shoe Guru himself. We are cranking, whoo, we got animals out here. We are cranking a 720-ish mile. Whoa, shit. Freaking cranked that five miler. What do you think we hit it in? Oh, like average time? Yeah. Maybe like 720, 715 average. Seven fourteen. Oh! Freaking zooming with the codster. Let's go, man. Let's get it. Jeez. All right. Yeah! We got a tempo run today, and then we're gonna try to get a quick little lift in, and then run club. So come along. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but these tempo runs are a booty hole. Man, speed work is tough sometimes. But do you guys have a song that just absolutely sends you into a motivated mood? Mine right now, and maybe it's because it just came on, is Can't Hold Us by Macklemore. Bruh, I used to love Macklemore. Not too fond of him now, but that is sending me into grind mindset, let me tell you. All right, y'all, just slammed a nice, steamy tempo run. Did six miles in 45 minutes. You now we got some easy miles at Run Club. Feeling juiced up this week. Well, actually I'm feeling like really tired this week, but like whenever I get into the workout, the endorphins just, and I power up, but it's feeling great. I'm just not feeling it today. Past few days, I've just not wanted to jaunt. I don't know what it is. Seasonal blues, the cold, who knows? Just not that motivated. But we're out here regardless. I've got hills on the schedule, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'll check in with you later. Let you know if the hills cure my seasonal blues. We'll see. I don't know if you guys, I can never really tell the true nature of the elevation on my runs, but we got a beast of a hill, 400 meters, like I think 12 times, can't remember. But the thing around, the thing about like my neighborhood, there's not flats, it's all hills. Like one of the neighborhoods is called Mission Hills. Like this is a hilly place, but you know, by the end of this, I'm gonna be hill master, hill yeah. Hell yeah, bro. All right, let's quit talking, let's get it. All right, I feel slightly better after that hill workout, but I'm exhausted, so there's your trade off. Get exhausted, get a little happier. I don't know. Regardless, happy to get out here, get some easy miles in. Um, but if I had to rank which workouts were the hardest, hills, probably at the top of my list. I have yet to have a workout that just leaves me like, like at the end, like out of breath. But hills did it. Man, haven't done legit hills in a long time. So I'm just gassed. But there's a lady that lives on the street that I did my hills on. She's like, if I had to guess, like 80 something. I passed her, I look over, you know, a little glance. I see her going like this. She's like, let's go. And I'm like, yeah, you know it, let's go. I've never seen an 80 year old just like, yeah, go grind. So that made me really happy. That made my day. Anyway, on to another one. Look at that. I kind of missed an opportunity to make it into a smiley face with the sausage links, but we got some pre-run brekkie. It's uh, obviously avocado toast, a little sausage links, but these are the money makers right here. This is the sauce that I put on the sausage links. I haven't had it yet, so I'm excited to try it. And then I sprinkle some chili lime and some red pepper flakes on the avocado toast. Let me tell you, it ain't pretty, but it's honest work. Um, we got a bit of a longer jaunt today, but the biggest feat that we have to tackle are those damn leaves. That's gonna take like, three hours at least. The leaves are an honest problem here, folks. 
just a huge feat. It's, it's incredibly exhausting. If you guys want a little look of what it's like to own a house with all these gorgeous mature trees, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful, but look at that. Let's take a close look here. I think that's like, I don't even, I mean, you can count real quick. Definitely over 12 bags. We've been at it since 11 a.m. It's 3.20 right now. That's insane. I think I'm gonna go crazy. Luckily, we don't have, I don't think we're gonna have to pick up leaves very much after this. So anyway, I'm gonna get a jaunt in, last jaunt of the week. So let's freaking get it. I'm excited. So my wife is an avid walker and I've been trying to catch up with her because she's on a walk. She's got her headphones in. There she is. I'm gonna run by her. See if she recognizes me. Damn it. She, she, she saw me. Hello. I was trying to scare you. Oh. I'm too noisy. I sound like a elephant when I run. Yeah. Okay. Well, I caught up to her. That's all that matters. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna call it for this week. I was supposed to run nine, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes life just happens. Sometimes you have to pick up four hours worth of leaves. Sometimes you just wanna hang out with your family, you know? I mean, the most important thing in life are those around you and those who, those around you and whatever else is important to you. It's not always about the grind, but the grind is life. Don't let me get you wrong. But sometimes you just don't do the, the nine miles and that's okay. Um, yeah, that's all for this week, guys. If you liked, oh, real quick. I've got, I've got my next goal in mind, but I'm not, I don't, I don't really know how it's gonna be executed yet. So stay tuned for that. I've got another grind goal happening. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you liked, like, if you want more, subscribe. And then what's your favorite fruit? I feel like I asked that before, but I'll ask it again. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.